Yesterday we had the opportunity to experience and listen to investigators from Germany talk about their experience with Y90 Therosphere. One speaker talked about primary liver cancer, the other one about liver metastases, and I think some interesting points can be made. The first one is they presented their data on Therosphere in uh, hepatocellular carcinoma showing good quality of life, excellent outcomes, and really versatility of the treatment, which is something we have established in our center many times. The second speaker talked about liver metastases and really established uh, that there's a role for Y90 Therosphere in patients with liver metastases that have progressed on standard chemotherapy. What is interesting is that the symposium was presented simultaneous to several new publications that have been uh, 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 presented in PubMed recently. The first one is from our center that talks about radiation segmentectomy. The idea that you can implant very high dose radiotherapy in small sectors of liver with the ultimate intent of complete tumor kill. So they reference this and this is very exciting new data. The other interesting uh, concept is the use of serafinib, a systemic therapy for advanced HCC in patients with primary liver cancer. Uh, also a new paper that was published was a randomized trial adding serafinib to Y90 Therosphere uh, that was negative, essentially not showing a significant benefit or in addition to using this standard of care treatment in advanced HCC to patients on the transplant list. The third interesting observation is in liver metastases and one of the issues that we have had for several years is from a treatment paradigm standpoint, should patients be treated on a whole liver basis, on a low bar basis. And we recently published a, the first uh, phase one dose escalation study where chemotherapy was given at full dose and we escalated the Y90 therosphere. The results showed that we were able to give whole liver treatment at 170 gray without reaching a maximum tolerated dose. So an interesting novel design showing essentially that whole liver treatment can be done in select cases without reaching um, maximum tolerated dose. The highest reported liver doses uh, in the literature to date. So very exciting new data, very exciting uh, that investigators are starting to adopt this kind of technology. Uh, this is clearly well tolerated by patients. It is an outpatient treatment with a very good quality of life. And now really probably one of the biggest advantages is the versatility of the treatment that can be applied in early disease, looking for complete necrosis. It can be used in a bridge to transplant setting. It can be used to downstage. It can be used uh, in patients with vascular invasion, advanced disease, and even in some high risk cases. So really all in all, very exciting new data.